The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you with me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scooter McFuckstick, <laughs> a.k.a. Scotty Grimman. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. <laughs> Fucking love it. God dang, that music. I'm never ready until that music hits. I know, and then, and then it hits, and it's like, I'm, I'm on. fucking on. I'm ready. I wonder what my music will <laughs> do to get me going. Uh, uh, we'll see here in a minute. I, damn it. Isn't you know, this thing programmable? It is. That's weird. I know. You'd think you'd have some other music and stuff on here by you now. Would, you, you would think. think. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, another very funny stand-up comedian who actually travels. Please welcome back Mix, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Oh. You know, I wasn't ready until I heard <laughs> yeah, my now. song. And, and now, now you're all pumped like, up. I yeah. had... I had I had it feels like a woman at one point in time, but I don't know where it went. I'm just pushing buttons. Yep. Yeah, I can't have that's not my song. That's yeah, JP's I know that's song. JP's. I'm Is that kidding. a real song? <laughs> <laughs> that always that always makes me laugh. That's from Thirty Rock, but it's I still always- I always like thought anything, about shazamming it to see if I could find anything it. Anything that's music is a song. Right. So just saying, like, is that a real song is just a funny sentence to me. Absolutely. But anyway. anyway. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and current events that have absolutely nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, uh, yeah. A lot of jokes are targeted towards me, and that's fine, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and pretty much offend a whole bunch of people. So if you're one of those people who are easily offended, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. I'm out of here. Bye, JP. Uh, I'm kidding. You can't offend me. No kidding. I bet I could. I bet I could offend you, though. I bet you could, too, yeah. (laughs) JP loves to make me fucking nervous every uh, single week. What am I going to do? Uh, but we do yeah. have an excellent episode for you guys. If you haven't already can tell, this sound is not shitty, and I know it really wasn't all that bad, but it still bothered the fuck out of me. So. Yeah, that's cool. Man. That's okay, but it sounds much fixed, better. Yeah. Much better. Uh, what was wrong with it? Uh, my microphone sound blown. It just sounds blown But he blown still doesn't shit. even know what was wrong. He just plugged everything out and then back in. I legitimately right? unplugged everything, yeah. plugged it back in, and everything seemed fine. The, the thing that I <laughs> said, <laughs> fuck. The thing that I said, I hope happens, is what happened. Exactly. As, as we were walking out, I was like, I hope your computer stuff does what my car does, and that is <laughs> just fix itself Sometimes. somehow. Yeah, they get smart from time to time. Uh, but anyways, this week we do have hot topics. Hot topics. Uh, we have never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. A draft. And as always, a shitty situation. This week's shitty situation has already been uh, said. Oh, good. It's there. Look at that. It's a, it's a, it's a right. suggested one. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, but, but anyways, we like to kick every single episode off with the uh, the week, week recap. Where we like to tell you guys what's happened to us over the last week, and we're going to naturally turn, or turn it over to Mr. J.P. What do you got? I got a lot, man, actually. Yeah, buddy, you uh, got crazy enough. Quite a bit. I've got a lot. Uh We'll start out on a high note. Okay. Uh, last Sunday. Yeah. I went in there. Oh, yeah. To that comedy contest, and I did exactly what I said I would do. I won that bitch. I'll give it to you. Fuck yeah. When in doubt in a comedy contest, if you don't think you're that good, bring a shitload of people who are going to cheer for you. That helps. Very much so. <laughs> he, you've uh, also got to have some modicum of, you do. of talent. You do. Yeah. Now, now I'm curious. What'd you think? I was actually very impressed. Yeah. Really. 
Okay. Especially because I knew that you legitimately had nothing. <laughs> right. Which is very rare in comedy. Nothing. And I mean absolutely I'm better nothing. better that way. Most of the time when a comic's like, I'm just going to wing it tonight, they're saying stuff that they've said a thousand times before. JP literally yeah. was like, I don't know what I'm going to say. Absolutely. Derek Alders. Anyways. Um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me too, though. I'm the same way, dude. I have Got jokes. Mid drink that hurts. <laughs> I have jokes that I've been doing for 15 years. Yeah, that I still am like right. it, it works you every do, single time. But you don't do all of them in the same, same set. Yeah, it's true. Every no, time. that's true. Yeah. I mean, I try to. I've, I've learned how to sandwich stuff. Hey, man, listen, listen. We love we love every single yeah. person that was up on that show. It was man. It was I'll a lot what, of fun. I won. But you did. I brought but a lot I of wasn't people. there. You did. So I brought a lot of people. You did. But I think I had most of the crowd on my side from the for the most part yeah, until it all came down to I it. know you're and gay. That's fine. But uh yeah, yeah. you are gay. It was you are fun. gay. But everybody that got up, man, props to them. Dude, it the, was a great the show. The comics that came in from Tulsa were awesome. They were all they were good. all really good. Oh, uh, man. I enjoyed uh, meeting everybody. Sean Blake? And Sean Blake? Huh? Sean, is it Shauna Blake? Shauna Blake. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah, we liked her. My my wife liked her a lot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If you know what I, I didn't mean. I did say I did. I, oh. I said my wife did. Okay. I liked her my, wife. my wife. My wife. My wife. She was. No, it was a great show. It was actually a lot of fun. I, I knew it was going to be. The, I mean, CSB is actually a pretty cool, like, It's a venue. cool, it's an okay little venue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they open yeah. the garage doors. Every, you know, some people stand outside, get a free show. It's all kinds of fun. There's a lot of people that are sitting there talking their fucking ass off and wouldn't shut up during a comedy contest. But other than that, it was a great time. Those are my people. <laughs> Those are the people there for JP. It was a good time. Absolutely Sorry good Sorry about that. It's all right. They get a little crazy. That's okay. I figured they probably but, would uh, be in friends with you. Yep, yep. Uh, but no, uh, it was really cool. It was it was awesome. And and JP was like coming up to me in between his two sets and be like, how was that? And I was like, dude, I thought it was fucking great. He's and like, he's, please compliment me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, feed, I need it. I feed off of I this. Do. Oh, I do. We had a whole bunch of people that listened to the show oh, come man. up to us and so say, many. dude, that was so cool. That's awesome. And, and I know, like, it, it, it is really cool that oh, people, yeah. come, like, if you're ever nervous oh, coming up to us, oh, don't, don't, be. don't be. Come up and please talk. Please yeah, do. For sure. With me, be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and you should be too. Yeah, uh, but no, it was very nice. Uh, me and JP signed a uh, electronic yodeling yeah, pickle. Man. This one was better than Jeremy's because you could talk to it and it would say whatever you said back, back. in yodel yeah. words. It yeah. was awesome. It was pretty cool. Uh, but no, thank you to everybody that came. It was really awesome. We had a great time uh, meeting everybody. It was it was just a good night all together. So yeah, it was a good good time. What else, JP? What else, JP? All right. So should now I'm gonna play be, some sad music. Yeah, you mm, should. I, it, I mean, don't play the music. I'm not That's, going it's to. It's not worth that. But uh, I know. Don't. Yeah. Um, so last uh, last week, I had a really really good friend of mine that was uh, run over, hit, and uh, tragically killed. E. Uh, yeah. Actually, right before the comedy contest, so that sucked. Did yeah. you but, learn uh, about it? Yeah, uh. right, I mean, right before, right before is when. Oh I shit! Heard. Sorry, that was my it fault. It was. It happened. It happened. Uh, it happened, and it is what it is. Uh, the guy did not turn himself in. He ran from the scene of the crime. So for three or four or five days, where everybody's trying to figure out who this guy is, what the vehicle is. They finally, he did turn himself in. Thank God, but. Uh, uh, he had three young daughters, uh, some stepkids. I mean, not stepkids, but him and his girlfriend weren't married, but they were very much together and in a family union, a family unit. Yeah, she literally had to sit there and yeah, watch him go. It was uh, it was a really really bad deal. Um, they do have a GoFundMe for the some of the funeral costs and then some money for the daughters. Uh, we're gonna throw that up on the screen. If yeah. you have the extra money, man. Help him out. He was a fucking phenomenal dude. Uh, you probably would never hear anybody say anything bad about the guy. So if you have the extra money, throw some at it. If not, maybe share it. Uh, whatever you got to do. But uh, from the bottom of my heart, whatever you can do would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, that out of the way. Uh, rest in peace, Tad. A lot of people loved him. A lot of people will miss him. 
now that I brought everything down, <laughs> let's hear what Scotty did last week. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, know what the, no. you know what the saddest uh, part of that whole thing is? What's that? His name was Tad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I... I don't want to be. I don't want to be in the middle. There's too much going on. Uh, I want to kick this over to Mike Baldwin. <laughs> Let him oh, throw sorry. him under the bus. No, Mike. He's not. A, he's not a complete regular. We'll kick him around. A yeah. Sorry bit. about your friend. That Thanks. sucks, dude. Yeah, yeah. It was. Life's crazy like that, man. Yes, it is. That's what life is. Is 99 percent surprise death. Yeah. Just like so and so died, and you're like, what? Yeah. Every time it's a surprise. Like, very rarely are you like, yeah, it was about time for that. Derek died. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, they took his arms and legs. They did everything they could, but the diabetes finally got him. Got to the core. Yeah. Let's see. What did I do since last week? I didn't uh, mow my grandma's lawn because there was a drought. Uh, but it rained its ass off the last few days. Yeah, sure did. I'm I'm going to have to mow extra this week. Uh, which is the same amount yeah, of mowing. Like, like, it'll just be slightly taller, so I'll have to empty the bag slightly more often. Okay. But uh, what did I do? I haven't had any shows in the last several weeks, which has been equally just wonderful and, and frustrating, super <laughs> depressing. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, all right, I got $117 to last me the next 13 days. Jesus Christ. So let's make it happen. I've been wow. watching... Uh, it's funny, like, uh, there's a thing on Netflix about uh, Wyatt Earp and the Cowboy Wars. Have oh, you, yeah. Oh, have, yeah. Have you watched it? Nope. I didn't know. I mean, everybody knows who Wyatt Earp is. But sure. now I feel like a whole chunk of society is going to become, like, Wyatt Earp nerds <laughs> because of this show. And I was already, I was talking to my grandma today, and I was like, did you know that the Earps was uh, falsely accused of murder? <laughs> 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 So we're waiting to see what happens with that trial. I haven't gotten. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no spoilers. And it's like, dude, it's Wyatt Earp. It's yeah. 1881 or some shit. Don't spoil yeah. it, dude. Yeah. I don't want to know how it ends. But the thing is, is like we're from Kansas. That's where that dude hung out. Like he was he was in Wichita. He But he ended up like the, the most famous fucking shootout was in Dodge City, Kansas, which they still... It, they no, kinda, it, was in, it was in Tombstone, Arizona. Oh, that, uh, that, you got Tombstone, but you also have one in Dodge, if I remember correctly. Well, not, not the Earps, dude. Okay, <laughs> get the shit out of Dodge. I know everything there is to know about the Earps. Oh, okay, that's fine. But, but no, actually, I, I do think you're right. But still, oh, like, I'm right. all of us Kansans <laughs> know who the fuck Wyatt Earp was. Everybody knows who Wyatt Earp was, but not everybody so. knows who There are people who Wyatt are voting right now that don't know who they're voting oh, for. for sure. Well, so, that's, so that's what I'm saying. I mean, Just common knowledge is not a common thing anymore. No, that's true. You Thank make you. a good point. Thank you. Appreciate there it. There are some stupid fucking people walking around hundred percent. So, yeah, anyway. well, it's like, uh, was that a Carlin joke where he was like, uh, 51% of people are dumber than the average person or something like that? Yep. I'd say that's probably pretty valid. I mean, it, it has to be because average is right in the middle. Right. So yeah. half of the people are dumber than that. Yeah. Uh, did you do anything else? Uh, I made some meatballs. Yeah, of course you did. I was going to ask if you used meat. Did you do? All. I did. Did you do yeah. Italian sausage meatballs or ground beef? No, I just did ground. You beef. It's all ground beef, pussy. dude. They he has like. I just used what I had already. I didn't uh, go to the store. I've only got a hundred and seventeen <laughs> fucking dollars. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> eating everything. I've had so many cans of green beans in the last few weeks. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. They're just, they were on sale a long time ago. And now I'm like, all right, okay. good thing I got all these time, beans. Thank God. Spectacular. Time to go. That's my wife's least favorite thing to eat, just so you know. Mine is uh, ass. I was going to say it, but <laughs> the true answer is onions. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are my least favorite thing. Do you like eat. mushrooms? I don't hate mushrooms. Okay. I hate onions. Okay. I, but I'm if, the same way. If you're like, you want mushrooms on it, I'd be like, I, no, thank you. Okay. But if you were like, hey, you want this? It's got mushrooms on it. I'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it okay. still. So, so the, the whole thing, and I, it's, it's, it's probably not based at all, but genuinely, uh, most people who dislike y- onions, y- onions, who dislike onions, do not... Uh, who dislike onions like mushrooms. Yeah, huh. that's me. And it goes back, it yeah. goes the other way. If you huh. like onions, you do not like mushrooms. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, fun, fun, fun thing. I don't even know fun if thing. that's true. 
Yeah, I don't. Just because Scotty said it, well, he's he's just taking it to heart that we're just going to believe him. I, well, I know this. Where'd is you true. hear this? Huh? Where'd you hear this? Oh, it's totally. You know, it's totally it's true. A, it's, <laughs> it's, totally true. it's just a thing. It's just a thing that Does people it matter know. where I hear it. The internet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know. Anything else <laughs> over there, Mikey? Um, I've got, uh, I, six months ago, I had like 10,000 Facebook followers. And as of today, I have 27,000 Facebook followers. Hell yeah. Followers, so it's, uh, I don't know what it is that I'm doing different, but. Accepting I, every request. I <laughs> post, no, they're not requests. They're followers. They're follow- so they just, oh, okay. yeah, they just choose to follow. I don't have to do anything. But Good for you. You're the new David Koresh. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You I'm, need to go find a compound stat. <laughs> who's the, who's the oldest comedian out there that still uses Facebook to this gay, this day? You're that guy. Me? No, Mike. Oh, is. Mike? oh yeah. I mean, d- dude, I get more yeah. b- b- people. Why wouldn't can, you use it? More people come to shows and stuff because of Facebook than anything else. I wish that I would take off on on X. Yeah, like, that's me too. the place that I would really like to be. You should take off more clothes. Yeah, those are the people succeeding. On I don't X. think that that's what the people want from well, me. <laughs> I don't think so either. But <laughs> fuck it, it's worth a try. But I will, you've got one hundred seventeen dollars left. Uh, I will go down a rabbit hole though if I see a comment that's like, uh, it it'll just show like sheets on a bed with like a wet spot all over it, and it'll be like, look sure. how I did this, and I'm like, yeah. God damn it! All right, I'll look. How'd you do that? <laughs> and i'm like oh you just s- some fat bitch with a hose <laughs> right she just <laughs> spilt her water all over uh, like, oh i thought it was gonna be hot i guess we're while we're getting down that entire road there we we gained a new follower over the last week or two uh, that uh sent us a message and said something and i and immediately by the facebook profile i was just like this person has to be fake there's no way this person is yeah. real. Oh, yeah. I was like, this is not a real person. But then I click on it, and it's like somebody on Instagram who has quite a few followers and very attractive. And I'm just like, holy shit, who so is this? So did they just fake the Instagram? That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Nope. Yeah. And really? For real? No. So it's a real-life person? Real-life person. Is it and a chick? It is. Is she hot? Yes, of she is. Of course she is. Please. I could have told you, wow, you're a you're regular fucking detective over here. I could have told you <laughs> yeah, all that I just, shit already. I mean, I, That's why I thought it was not, fake. He's not freaking out over no. some dude following exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> Based on the, my assumptions, I, I assume that yeah. most people that watch this show are not hot. I agree. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> I feel like I. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it was a valid question wow. to ask. That's why. That's why. Wait, that's there's a real. hot chick that watches <laughs> that's us, exactly. and that's why I was so shocked. I was like, "Oh shit!" Uh, okay. All right, but then immediately after you click on, you know, the link in bio link that she has, uh, I w- I could see that she obviously had an OnlyFans link, right? Which and is I- the first thing that you look for. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know why it took you so long. No, but I was, but so, I was seriously. So like, anyway, you subscribed to that? No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, I, he I, did. No, I did. <laughs> he did, didn't he? But I don't think that he did. I was, uh, I, I was trying, know. I was Scared. trying to ask. He was her. trying to, but he's no. no. got declined. <laughs> no, no, I'm married. No, none of that. Uh, okay. But I was trying to ask her. I was, was like, "Hey, do you know of any podcasts that go only on OnlyFans who are success successful?" And she said something along the lines of, "Well, yeah, here's one, but the thing is, is they all end up fucking at the end." Right. <laughs> and I'm like, Correct. and hey, I'm like, we can't do hey, that. Sounds like sounds like something we should at least consider. Like, I mean, we could at I, least. I hate to just say no right away without at least Let's say no. I, I hate Come to on, do man. That. We could do it under the table. Oh. Yeah. I like, mean, we wouldn't have to actually do anything. How about shadow figures? Why don't we just go with that? You know, just use no, your we imagination. Do, we could do puppets. puppets. We have <laughs> yeah. some chicks puppets. come in, a dude for JP, right. and then they all just get under the table no, while I, we do the show. Look, and whatever man, I happens. Hate, I hate you to got, rule shit out just without talking about <laughs> you it. You guys, maybe. Me, I'm taken. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, but your person is going to shine your shoes yeah. while we're doing yeah. the show. Wow. Okay. You're, you'll get a, right. an, an older... Uh, foreign shoe, gentleman. Shoe, yeah. shoe shine. Yeah. But yeah. no, I, I guess uh, her name is You Found You Missy underscore again uh, on, I believe it's uh, that's on Instagram, but she's also on TikTok and uh, stuff. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's, she's my age. She's uh, 36, 37, I think. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, go check her out and check out her OnlyFans too. I, I'm sure you'll probably enjoy that, I guess. I'm married, so I can't do that. Cool. I'm uh, going <laughs> to totally befriend her and whack off to her. <laughs> Me too. And then hopefully we'll end what, up what, married or like, something. What, how, how do you like 
I don't know. I think it's weird if somebody was jacking off to me. Dude, did I, I've told that story on the show before. What, for me? No. Oh. I went, I, me and this dude That's decided so we were going to fuck, and we went to this other guy's apartment because I couldn't go back to my place. He couldn't. He didn't have a place. He wasn't from here, but he had a friend. He's like, hey, we can fuck there, and I'm like, cool. You know, yeah, and I walk sure. in, and the dude is literally laying in the bed, jerking off to fucking oh. my profile, dude. God, that's yeah, yeah, it man. wasn't good. Hmm. No, that's weird. Yeah, that's, that is it was. It that's was a little weird. weird. And if I hadn't been so coked up, I probably wouldn't have done it. That's one yeah. of those things that <laughs> that you're probably <laughs> not go, into, JP. but if Way you're into go. it, you're like, oh, dude, fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he wasn't an attractive man. <laughs> I guess most people aren't. Did you know that 51% of people <laughs> are not attractive? Are less attractive yeah, than yeah, the average yeah. person? Yeah, True. and we are definitely below average in that regard. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm a, I'm slightly above average. I feel like I'd be in the 60s. I'm glad you feel that way. Okay. I don't think I'm as ugly what as What do you think about me? I think I'm more attractive than you. How about You know what? Let's ask JP. JP? I'm not Who's more attractive, that. JP? <laughs> I can't say. Who has a more charming smile? I, right. could, I couldn't Scotty even say. Scotty or me? I, I'd hate to even be the decider. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like that's part of my responsibility as a human is to be I, like, I, I so am a, I'm a catch. Yeah, I think so as well. <laughs> How's that working out for you? <laughs> it's going up fine. He hasn't yeah. yet been caught. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm very, uh, I'm shifty, you know? Yeah, I'm very. <laughs> I'm slippery. This. I'm very. They, <laughs> they try to catch me, but I'm like, I'm uh -uh. too good for them. Uh, good. Can't cool. pin me down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's d d uh, hear uh, about your week, Let's Scotty. move this on. First thing I'm going to say is fuck Cox Communications. Oh, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fuck them for not pleasing me 100% of the time. No, 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 no. It's doing what they say they were going to do. My internet shut off three times last week Yeah. while I was at home. And so I have since switched to AT&T. You're already, Get, uh, it's already, already... It's already going. done. I already got the phone. Phone's already done. Uh, and they're going to save me anywhere like $170 yeah, to $150. Dollars. Cheap, like, get yeah. the fuck out of here. A month? A month. Yeah. A month. Dude, well, Cox is expensive. It's fucking expensive, and it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to go with YouTube TV. I'm going to I'm going to make it work. I don't care. I cannot give these people a single cent. Or ah, uh, it's so fucking frustrating. I feel it's that just reminds me of Louis C.K.'s <sighs> joke where he's like, "Well, make your own then." Yeah, I, you know, you what? don't like it? Go make your own. It's no, pretty it's, much what you got to do. Now. Make your own tower. Here's the and, thing. Here's the thing. It's capitalism, and guess what? Capitalism has pre created a new product that I didn't even know about. Done a little bit of research myself, and found out it's a better product, a lot cheaper. That's kind of how it works, and that's why I'm going with that one. And gonna, and hopefully and Cox that will one. learn. And hopefully Cox will learn to not be a bunch of Cox. That's the point. So happy, happy to say I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, and today. While I'm wearing my Detroit Lions, yeah, yeah, black like on it. black, I love like it. it. Today was my fantasy football draft. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. nod off here. Okay, wake me up when you're done with this. Yeah, bullshit. tell us what players you no, got. I'm not whatever. gonna tell you who I got. I'll I'll do one. Jameer Gibbs. He was my first overall pick. I was very happy that a kid actually fell all the way to 12. Just na keep naming people that you have, and I'll tell you Everybody when I heard of one when of I them. recognize <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, shit. I, I, honestly, I don't even really remember. To be honest with you, it, I was in a zone. Come on, man. You got to know who you picked. Uh, I do. Um, okay. What the hell's your uh, problem? I, I took Jameer Gibbs, Isaiah Pacheco. Uh, DK okay, hold Pacheco. On. I feel like I've, right? he, he was a Chiefs Kansas guy, Chief. right? Okay, Correct. I He's knew that. Yep, DK Metcalf, Trey McBride, Kyler Murray, Amari Cooper, Malik Amari Neighbors. Amari Cooper, I've heard that he name. Play for? I don't know. Dallas. Uh, or what? He used to play Cleveland. for Dallas. Now he plays for Cleveland. Cleveland. Uh, Tajay Spears, Brian Thomas Jr., Jaden Daniels, Zach Charbonnet, Kansas City Chiefs defense, Darnell Mooney, Brandon I've Cooks. heard of Kansas City Chiefs <laughs> defense. <laughs> Surprising enough. Who I, do they play for? Have they, it. Denver, I think, I right? Think so. Marshawn I Lloyd. Hope. It's a weird name. Marshawn yeah. Lloyd and Harrison Butker is my kicker. Oh, I clearly know who Harrison Butker is. Of course. Of course he is. What? Yeah, I feel He's like a that's great a great kicker. I feel like that's a fucking Scotty. Is he a kicker? Is he the best kicker? He's the third best kicker, and that is what pick I have. Who's the best? Uh, oh, Tucker. Carlson? Uh, Justin Tucker. Tucker Carlson <laughs> no. kicks? Yeah, he's very good. Very good. That's so crazy. Yep. That guy. Uh, but it was a fun draft. It was. Uh, 
it, it was actually really quick. We ended up a 12 team draft in like two and a half hours, which that that's pretty, that is pretty that's quick. pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, and I was very happy with my team. Everything kind of fell with me the way that I want to. So you may actually see me win five straight years in a row. Not saying I'm going to ha- it's going to happen. I'm just saying it could. Was um, it was everybody there in person? Yes, we do an in person draft. If you don't show up, you're not a part of the league. Interesting. That's the way it is. Yep, that's the way it is. Uh, and it has been that way for like I think we're coming up on like 16 years, something like that. Um, but yeah, they, we had that. And then the last thing um, I'm really going to get into is uh, I got to uh, I actually got to play golf yesterday. Oh yeah, I am. been a minute. It has. Uh, I was forced to uh, by my company that I work for. We put on a uh, a charitable charitable event in Halstead, Kansas. They have a nine hole course <clears throat> there. And um, we we kind of have like a jeans day where everybody pays in order to have everybody whatever you you kind of get the idea. Anyways, we we d- delivered a check to this deal, and uh, the cool part is, is the first nine holes that you play is during the daylight. Then you wait until about nine thirty ten o'clock, and guess what? It's neo fucking l- like fucking light balls and glow balls and shit like that. Hmm. And it was a lot of fun. It was the first time I've ever like done that. Uh, I, what's I, that called when the uh, like cosmic golf? Cos- yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll call it that. That's that's probably a better way. Than You're what stealing I- that from bowling, you son of a bitch. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's, you should. Yeah, leave bowling out of cooler. this. It's way cooler. You got to be way more athletic to golf than oh, to bowl. Give me a break. It's totally true. Not I mean, true. I would. I think a glow in the Not dark true. ball is. John a- Daly says differently. He could bowl. No, but I'm just saying he's not like the fucking statue of epitome of fucking health. 20 buddy. bucks says that John Daly could break 100 in bowling, right? I bet you My, it, I mean I can't. Well, so shut I'm up. I'm not surprised. Yeah, right? Oh. But I oh. guarantee you, uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not fun. Uh AT&T. <laughs> Did that show up on the video? Yeah. Uh, probably. But the yeah. Lights Are we flickered. still recording? Yeah, we're still well, good. That's good. Uh but Anyway, I don't long- have to do this again. <laughs> I don't oh, either. No. I'm here. I'm slotted for one hour, and I'm getting the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, but no, but I think that John Daly could probably break 100. I don't think you could break 100 in golf. Oh, I can. No way in hell. Oh, absolutely. Really? How much you want to bet? Ooh. Dude, I'm very athletic. <laughs> in Are you golf? kidding me? In you golf. Golf I'm is an enough. athletic. Golf Breaking is just, 100 yeah. is hard. I'm hard right now sure you are he is just talking about all this golf. gross i can yeah. S- smell it <laughs> yeah i'm sure but you have a gift my friend mm-hmm. are you a, are you are you <laughs> hard <laughs> what is wrong with you <laughs> i am <laughs> how do you know these things all right fine. all right so anyway but anyways no, you uh, would kick my ass in golf and so would john daly but he couldn't beat me in bowling so I, i'm just saying fair. you act like golf you have to be some fucking specimen of fucking physical peak performance i mean kind of no, no. I mean, it's just certain yeah. skills. It's yeah, like you just darts, have to, like hand-eye coordination. You pretty uh, good. I'm, yes. Oh, that's you, you're pretty 90% good. Ninety percent of what bowling no, that, is. No, I said hand-eye coordination, yes. not hand-mouth coordination. Hand-eye that's, coordination. Okay, got it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll dude. see what happens, dude. I will play you in any fucking sport, any day, anywhere, anytime. For what about any ping pong? Money. Yeah, ping pong. Sure. Okay. Baseball. Sure. Rule you I was baseball. good at baseball. Okay, fine. Anyways, uh, moving on, there were a couple of questions. We should start filming some of this. We should. Yeah, you I should. think we should. Dude, well, if people already don't like you, when they see you fall to me, <laughs> they're really in not going to like anything I said. I'm Let's very do, honest. I think the first too. thing, okay. with the easiest thing to film I'm would be. I'm not Keith Litsky. This I'm not going to get out there and fall on my face, buddy. <laughs> Let's do a 40-yard dash. Okay. Oh, dude. I, yeah, okay. I'd die afterwards, but I'll beat you. 40 yards isn't going to kill you. Oh, it might. Got to be quick. You got to be quick with I'm me. I'm quick. You got to be quick with me. Oh, I'm quick. All right, fine. All right. Anyways, uh, there were a couple of um, questions specifically for us. Uh, I wanted to kick it off well, with you too, buddy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is you actually from Mike. Oh, no. Mike and JP. This comes in from Braxton Lent. He wanted to know, how do you deal with a heckler on stage? Or I, I let, Okay, when, okay. Let me, let me rephrase this. How do you deal with a heckler in the crowd when you are on stage? I think we knew what he meant. Yeah, I, I totally. figured, but I wanted to clear it up. <laughs> uh, it depends, man. On it's the, very... Uh, you know, it's like, how do you hit on a woman? Right. It's like, I don't know. It depends okay. on the situation and stuff. Sometimes a simple like, hey, buddy, nope. 
Yeah, <laughs> sometimes that works. The yeah, most recent video that I just put out on all of my social. Oh shit yeah, I saw that. Is one. a dude being like, "Man, I came and and I just interrupted him and I was like, nope, don't say anything." <laughs> I was like, anything that you say is not gonna help. Like, just pretend it's TV. Just watch it. <laughs> but sometimes, I mean, you have to... One good rule is uh, repeat what they said back to the audience because most they of the time... Hear they like, can't hear? Yeah, the audience, like, heard that something was said, but that person doesn't have a microphone. So a large chunk of the audience is like, what did they say? Oh, yeah. So you repeat it back, and then you make fun of them, basically. Oh, yeah. No, I, if, I get you. If it calls for that, you right. know... But if yeah. somebody's like, my my dead dad was your biggest fan, I can't be like, shut the fuck shut up, the lady. Fuck up. <laughs> I'm glad he's dead. Yeah, wow. So it good. just depends, you know, because most hecklers are not. People, when they hear the word heckler, they think of somebody being like, boo, you suck. But a heckler is just like, hey, that's like my friend Brad. <laughs> like people just yeah, having just a conversation shit, yeah. with you. Hey, did you bring Brad to the show? No. Okay, then shut the fuck up. Yeah, it really depends on the the situation. Like I've I've gone up there and interacted with the heckler and yeah. done fine. But again, like he said, to repeat their questions, you have to. Um, and then I've had hecklers where I go up later in the show and they've been fucking off all fucking show. Yeah, and then you can and immediately. I, I will just walk on stage and go. I want that bitch out of here. <laughs> I don't want her here while I'm doing my set. And they'll take her out. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I've done that. Yeah. Like no, no, we're not, I'm not playing her fucking game. <laughs> and I mean, I say bitch. She's, she's trying to get views on Instagram. <laughs> it's usually a woman. <laughs> most it? of the time, most it is, of the yeah. time, it really is. I, it's probably one of the worst comedy uh, shows I've ever been to. There was it was at the it was at the Looney Bin when it was still here, and there was this table that was all the way in the very very back, and they were noisy. They were louder than shit, and they were just having a conversation in between themselves, and it was four fucking bitches that wouldn't shut the fuck up i was so mad <sighs> it always surprised me like why would you pay why would money you to go? come in here and do that like you could uh, go to any other bar and just talk to each other absolutely ridiculous great question Anyways, braxton great question yeah it was all right and then yeah uh and then uh dawson hag actually wanted to ask uh, me a question but i think this is a good time to actually involve you guys in what i invest so much of my time i in, was gonna ask about this. fantasy football which is he wants to know what are the worst punishment punishments for coming in last place in fantasy football what what do you think would be a horrible punishment we have one we have one. Oh, you do uh i say we have we had one like you had to embarrass yourself and go in the fruit race at uh, at the oh, baseball yeah. stadium. Yeah, okay. and uh, just throwing it out there, everybody that's in our fantasy league, not what you would call in shape. So <laughs> not a bunch of golfers, not, then. Huh? Yeah, not <laughs> a bunch of golfers. <laughs> good deal. Uh, so that one, and it was a good one. Um, but now, since Derek is not no longer in the league because he's scared. Um, but because he uh, knows football's rigged, yeah, because he thinks football's yeah. rigged. No, uh, we we currently do not have one. I think getting a tattoo while that's very, that's what I, well, that was going to yeah, be mine. That's really that's, permanent, that's and that's bad. real. Yeah, man, I, I can't do it. I agree. But just don't get tattoo last place. Would be, right. Just don't get last place. Yeah, you've won four years in a row. I think you're <laughs> yeah, going to be all right. I think I'm made fine. That's why you go for the worst punishment. I don't want you, to. Right, oh, you got to fucking no, push there's a, for it. There's a give and take, man. There's a, like, okay, These I'm going to go. These are still my friends. Um, well, yeah, that's and, where you're fucking up. I know, and they are my friends, <laughs> and I love them. You're there to destroy them. I should be, and I talk a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, I'm okay. not that guy, though. I like I do talk a lot of shit. Like, I did a, I did a video <laughs> that I haven't posted yet, but it's me getting into the truck every year i do the same video it's me getting into the truck getting ready to go to the draft and it's the stone cold steve austin entrance music the glass shatters and you just kind of sit in there and you just go yeah that's me okay. every single year but like i send that to all the guys and they're all just like Jesus. trying to intimidate them no not necessarily it's just like <laughs> you're man, talking I'm gonna win. Ass. man scotty's just, so fucking cool you're just talking shit it's just yeah, okay it, it, but you're trying to also light a fire <clears throat> up under their ass because <clears throat> some people aren't uh, they they fall off like halfway yeah. through the season. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. No. And and our league kind of incentivizes people paying attention. A fucking punishment would be uh, seven minutes in heaven with me in a dark closet. Oh god, that'd be a good punishment. Oh 
HR would have to be called. That yeah, oh, for sound, sure. Oh, he- heavenly. No. 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 It's it's sediments in hell. Yeah, it's going to be much gonna closer. Be hell. Hell. I don't think it would be hell either. No, it would be, I promise you, it would be good. <laughs> it would be very <laughs> for you. Pur- purgatory. It would be weird. The, yeah, yeah. It, would be, it would be limbo for sure. <laughs> I'm like, do people outside the closet know what we're doing? No. <laughs> no, but I bet whenever I come out and go like this, they'll guess. <laughs> I'll be like, it wasn't what you think. Yeah. No, it, the, I think the worst punishment. Smell my penis. I promise it doesn't smell like <laughs> JP's breath. <laughs> Either that or, or whenever you fart, it just sounds funny yeah, for the next yeah. couple Ugh. of weeks. Was that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It happened again. I can never get in the last place again. No, uh, I mean, the worst punishment clearly would be death. Oh, well, of course. Just I mean, imagine. I don't if, think you can do that, though. Well, I mean, you can't. Get close. Yeah, it actually happened. There was, uh, well, I don't know if it's true. It could be fake, but there was a kid that had. Sure. To, was it on uh, the internet? Yeah, it was. Well, then it's, it's gotta, gotta be, be real. It's gotta be true, but like, and it's a common one. It's a one uh, that you have to spend twenty four hours in a IHOP. Uh, you have to spend twenty four hours, but the number of pancakes that you eat will take off how many hours you're in there. Oh. So if you eat. 24 pancakes no problem you can immediately leave oh no problem no problem so you're I'm, so full of shit i'm dead serious i could eat like 15 oh you can eat off. seven i could eat like 15 no nope, not, I hop not this it. those guy. are big pancakes not too. wait we went for the all you can eat ones they're littler well no, i'm talking about the the, the actual four other plates no, I'm talking about like the actual regular standard size yeah no yeah they, they are yeah. fucking a okay. plate then, size then i would probably eat like four or five yeah exactly yeah. and that's what i'm saying but, but there can was you eat them over the course really of the 24 hours and they almost died uh, they didn't they almost too much they ended up being like going to the hospital is what i was told i don't know mm. if it's again i don't know if it's I don't true think, uh, you, i don't know if it's true throw up first mm, i mean you can i could see me getting like a terrible stomach ache yeah but you'd throw up but if it was and my then everything first, would be okay. You could eat more pancakes. If it was my is that first a rule? Can you throw up? But that's kind of the thing. It's just like, I would oh be like, wait, I should go oh, man. Imagine purge through twenty four of those motherfuckers real quick. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like, yeah. what if he was like fucking faking it, and it's like, oh, dude, I think I'm gonna die, and like, oh God, call nine one one, get him out of here. It's like, Smart. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, that's yeah. what I did in football practice my freshman exactly. year. Exactly. I was like, I'm yeah. dying, coach. And he's like, get the <laughs> fuck up, do another one. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I don't want to. Oh shit. Well, anyways, ladies gentlemen that is this week's week week recap thank you guys so much and always uh the cheapest way to support the podcast is to leave a like or drop a comment a question for any of us uh i'm gonna give full range for you fuckers uh to go ahead and start responding to these questions on youtube so you can actually respond to them on youtube which will help people if they have a question for any any of you guys great please more reach out work. do that more yeah, thanks, work man. for you uh i hope my pay's going up <laughs> yeah it is it's going up it's going up 200 percent yeah 100 yeah 100 yeah, 200 percent in fact to zero um nice but anyways no, uh, i'm excited please do that do do that for us we sincerely do appreciate it but now we get to move on to hot topics awesome yeah. Before you move on, let me just say, worst punishment, worse than death, Mm -hmm. red hot poker in the ass. Oh, yeah. As always, yeah. I think that would cause death. If I'm ever king, yeah, but not immediately. It's true. It would take several excruciating Mm. hours. It'd be like branding somebody, wouldn't it? On the inside. Yeah, but then (laughs) also you're like cooking their guts and shit, too. Oh, yuck. Mm. Okay. Welcome to the show. Everything's better. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say everything's better hot. That's, That's not the where i was going uh, uh but anyways hot topics uh we're gonna kick this off with uh oh uh travis kelsey he's gonna make an appearance in happy gilmore yeah, too i heard that yep everybody's kind of talking about that uh or nobody cares please for the love of god don't ruin happy gilmore for me please don't do that uh, i'm asking a simple question i don't really think that adam sandler has the capabilities of doing such yeah i he's real excited i've i've seen a couple interviews he seems real excited about the movie and he wanted oh yeah he you're right really really didn't want to okay. screw it up you know he didn't yeah. want to just put out an inferior you're product. right still of so course it'll be good because whenever they interviewed you know um the same two guys that were in dumb and dumber if they really were all into it that they were like Nah, I'm just trying to get a big, huge money grab. That's exactly what they said. No, they didn't. They said they're really excited to do it. Yeah, but I've never fucking seen an interview with Adam Sandler and then been like, oh, he lied. 
and he's been around a sure, long time. I give so you that. I just, I, I'm I just, going by his character and what I've heard about him and shit like that. So you can go fuck yourself. Hey, yeah. I, I hope. I'm well, very. Why hopeful. you always got to say negative shit about what negative I say? Negative shit. You negative Nancy over there. Is, I'm devil's advocate did over Derek here. Come in here. Where's Derek? Is Derek? Derek? Is that you? Oh okay. no! No, it's Scotty. No, I play devil's advocate a lot. I really don't like it when you have a great thing that you just don't want to change it. Yeah. Sometimes it needs to be left alone. I just like I wonder penis. I wonder how many repeat like jokes callbacks they're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're gonna have Drew Carey fight him instead of oh Pat's, that uh, that would be good Bob Barker. Or okay, something. if they're not doing that yet, they need to fucking do that. Pretty that sure would, they've already just like done I heard what oh, I heard what you did last time. That that would be fucking funny. Uh, I was no. doing. I said that to make fun of it, but really, yeah, that would actually that would be, be kind of that would cool. be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I, would I wonder really what enjoy Travis Kelsey is going to do. <clears throat> I, I don't know. He's probably going to be like somebody in the crowd or something like that. But I mean, I just don't want them. Great to job, it. Happy. That's his whole. Yeah, fucking thing. that's it. He's gonna, it's yeah. going to be like and a Car- fucking. Cameo. Carl Weathers is no longer with us, so yeah. he won't be yeah, able that to be. Sucks. Yeah, he that won't. Guy. We're gonna need new chubs. And in fact, that's actually where the film actually starts off. It's burying Carl chubs, Weathers. Yeah, yeah, it's his funeral. Uh, I mean, that's the best way to start it yeah, off. Yeah, that's great. And then the same guy that played Shooter McGavin is going to be in it, who I'm a big fan of. I like it. He still is on Twitter. Go follow Shooter McGavin. It's fucking funny. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I just don't want them to ruin it. What's his real name? Uh huh. Yeah, you really, you're a big fan. It's hey, yeah, his what? Twitter handle is Shooter McGavin. Yeah, I know him as Shooter but, McGavin. Yeah, okay, I mean, that's great. But you know what? What's my, his, what is his name? I have no idea. Shut that's why. Too. But that's why I'm not over here going. Oh, he's fucking great, he's man. A good he's good. Oh, hold on, before we move on to the next story, okay. do you know what my favorite new show was? What Disney's The Acolytes? <laughs> I'm so excited for season two. I'm sorry, I just had to say that. Let's go on to the next story. Yeah, Disney has canceled The Acolytes <laughs> season. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I guess we can do that. Oh, I pushed all kinds of buttons. All right, never mind. Uh, obviously, Scotty does not know what he's doing I over know, here I'm just today. Putting, Are you drunk? I am so fucking exhausted. Is what I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm tired myself. I am exhausted. Me too. I was up until two o'clock in the morning last night. I don't know what the acolytes is, but I'm glad it got canceled. It's the star, a new oh, Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Well, now I really am. Glad that was it got like canceled. women are strong. Yeah, les- lesbian space witches. Oh, okay. Okay. Is what it was. That seems right. And and they had this like huge whole thing of like pushing all of that, and then it and then like nobody fucking watched it. And then you look up at the Rotten Tomatoes score. Rotten Tomatoes had it at ninety three, but the fan score was like twenty. And it's mm. oh, that's how it the is. Critics Rotten suck. Tomatoes is fucking bought off. Dude. Oh, Just absolutely, like everything it's else. fucking stupid. It's all propaganda. But the people <clears throat> that like the show will say that I don't like the show just because, because it's women. Right. And that has that is not it. It's because of the bullshit that they're pushing. And at my example is the new HBO show about the uh Oh, I was gonna stay in Star Wars. Well the new HBO show that's coming out about the uh the ladies from Dune uh, oh, cool! Whatever they're called, the witch lady people. I can't think of <clears throat> okay. what they're called, but I'm really excited for that because there's like history and lore behind that too, just like Star Wars. Sure, and, but I'm not like yeah, girl power. I'm just like a fucking good show. Rogue One, Rogue I, One. I raise you, fine, Rogue One. Yeah. I really enjoyed Rogue One. In fact, it's probably my favorite Star Wars movie that's out there. I honestly really liked it. It's one of my favorite. It has nothing to do with that. It's just you did a shitty job at writing a fucking story, and this is exactly what happens. You, I never you thought I'd like to talk about numbers or letter C okay. as much as I would I will. about B. But. <laughs> this is what happens, and I'm very happy about it, and that's why I decided to talk about it. But now we're going to move on to the Democratic <laughs> National Convention. Yeah. What happened there? Holy moly. <laughs> A bunch of lies and Trump I don't hate. even want to say. My whole deal is whenever you have people like John Stewart, who is a... Kill, oh, dude. <laughs> fucking killed him. I loved it. I, I loved, loved it every too. minute of it. I loved it, oh, too. it was great. If John Stewart is making fun of you and you, you and your guests... Then you're it, fucking up. You're fucking up pretty yeah. bad. They uh, The first one that they did was the billionaires thing, where you had Bernie Sanders come out and yeah. say he hated on, on billionaires. And then they and immediately <laughs> following brought on a happy billionaire. Yeah. So it's like, oh, damn. Okay, maybe just once. No, then they had somebody come out and make fun of people who were uh, from Yale, who went to Yale. And then they had a shitload of people who were from Yale. And last but certainly not least, which is my favorite joke and punchline of his whole fucking spiel, was he had somebody who 
prosecuted people for for like pedophilia and sexual assault and then it immediately shows bill clinton <laughs> and i'm like <laughs> fuck <"Fah." laughs> i think wow. it's all it's all fake dude it's all written it's, by writers and wow. shit that's you, why I believe Derek more that the NFL is rigged because <laughs> everything is everything fucking rigged. Else is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you it know, was, it was, it was uh, bad. Interesting. I, I loved, I loved Michelle Obama coming. Derek out and sent me a shit. Me, Derek sent me a message oh, uh, Thursday night. He's like, "Pink's going to be uh, performing at the DNC." <laughs> was and she? I, yeah. And so what I, I just wrote back. Poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he didn't text me back Fuck after that. No. no, absolutely not. And, and you know what? I don't really care. Obviously, you know where my position is. I'm fucking smack dab in the middle, and I hate both sides. But there is one who is definitely more bullshit than the other. I can honestly say there is one that's like, you fucking lying sacks of shit. You're just, you're just the, mad because Kennedy dropped out. Uh, I do like Bobby. Kennedy. I know you do. Other than his, other than his whole viewpoint on guns, I really genuinely yeah. do like Bobby Kennedy. Yeah, that's why we're not going to give him a gun-related job. We're going to just have him, exactly. We're going to give him an autistic j- health, uh, health, uh, health, that, that, health, yeah. wellness, health. Yeah. Fucking fine. I totally trust him. I'd be totally okay with that, and I like him in that particular regard. But the the whole time, you you had the whole DNC all week end, and then you had that. You had Bobby Kennedy. You had a Kennedy fucking endorse a conservative. You fucked up, guys. I don't think the titles of the parties are, are I don't accurate either. anymore. I don't either. Because I don't. I don't think, either. I don't think I'm a Republican. And I, don't I don't think th- Donald Trump is a Republican either. He no. is actually Donald Trump's very an left. Actor. <laughs> Donald Trump is left <laughs> of what Republican actor. is. He, Donald Trump is a uh, '90s Democrat. Yes, he's I a agree. Bill Clinton Democrat. Correct. I agree. Safe, legal, and rare. Yeah. Let's build a wall. It, fucking. Yeah, I agree. They're taking our gerbs and stuff. But I also think it's really cool how they both uh, can agree on shit and disagree on shit and not hate each other. I wish we could do that in our society with other people. I think that would be a way to live. But that's just, you know, my opinion. I don't. I mean, I think it's. <sighs> yeah, I think it's all fake. Yeah, I, you know what? We're watching a movie. We so are far, I'd say this show is fucking on fire. <laughs> Nothing can uh, stop what is. You coming. know, I'm usually excited to watch these back, but this one, I think I'm going to skip. I don't know. I think it's great. I don't know uh, what's going on. But today. anyways, I'm ladies just, and gentlemen, I don't know. That, Hopefully, these next few segments are better. <laughs> We're going to be fine. Okay. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's just the way hot I feel. topics. And now we get to move on to the fun part of the show, which is the stuff that you guys participate in, uh, participate in, which is never have I ever. I uh, have. I'm sure you Most have. Most generally. Almost yeah. always. Almost always. I, uh, but not always. You guys did a very good job. Monday Fun Day. <clears throat> every Friday I release on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram a, uh, a post where you guys can leave your comments. And uh, if we like them, we'll put them on the show, give you a shout out. It would You're be gonna nice be to have on the a show. Couch. Dude, it would be so what? nice to have a couch. Shut up. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be so cool right recliners, now. Recliners, the recliner and show. A, and a don't microphone the right show. here. A microphone so I wouldn't have to fucking nope. lean up to talk into this one. Yeah, nope, I don't want cool. those. And if we could smoke know. cigarettes in here. <clears throat> I mean, I'm more okay I'm with that than anything. That. You need one of those Joe Rogan fans okay. on the table or whatever. I could probably get one. Cool. I'm more inclined to do that than buying like thousands of dollars of like furniture. I know. I'm like, I want a glass <laughs> table and I want a chair yeah, and I want to be able to Look, smoke. And JP's like, oh, like, you can I'll, smoke. I want a place like, where I can cool. sleep. Yeah. Just yeah, fucking I'm stay. I'm, I'm moving in. I just anyway. need like a place to park my car <laughs> yeah. and uh, some right. space in the fridge right. and a couple yeah. plug ins. Yeah. Anyway. That's all I really need. Wi Fi password. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure that. Right. We're getting new internet on Monday. Uh, but anyways, never have I ever. We're going to kick this off with Dawson Glover. He wants to know, never have I ever lied to someone about anything just because. Oh, every time. That's 90% that's not, yeah. of my communication Always. in yeah. life. <laughs> How, how's your day? Good. Good. Yeah. No, I, I would lie. I, it, it still makes me cringe to this day. My Aunt Judy, I was at, uh, she was my favorite aunt, and I was at her house, and she never had cable the whole time that I knew her. And so she would watch PBS all the time. And I was at her house staying the night. I'd been doing comedy for like a year or two, and we were watching some <coughs> live weekly interview show. And I was like, oh, I've been on this. 
I don't know why I decided to say that because I hadn't. It was a and lie. She probably watched it every week. Every day. She was like, she would know. She was like, you haven't been on this, and I should have just been like, oh yeah, my bad. I thought it was, but I doubled down. Yeah, I was like, yes, I have. I have. And she was like, I literally, she cussed at me. Like, <laughs> she never really, she would cuss about things, but she never cussed at me. And she goes, you're fucking lying. I've been watching this every week. Uh, yeah, it still Grinchy. makes me feel uh, uncomfortable. How about, uh, go how, ahead. how about this one? How, do, how are you doing today? Oh, you know, just living the dream. Are you fucking kidding me? No, you're not. You're trying to end small talk as fast as you possibly That's can. That's not a lie, though. I think it's it's a lie. That's like a platitude sort of thing. Like, oh. I'm just saying Dude, I have nice, a lot of nightmares. Right thing. <laughs> oh, my I, dreams are usually... I, I am kind of living my dreams. No, if you were telling the truth, how are you doing today? I don't know. It's a Monday. I don't want to be here. I'm I'm so frustrated with my life and depression. I always just be like, good mo- I'm always like, good morning to you too, and then I just walk away. <laughs> That's yeah, usually I, I, how I answer unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, I can't do yeah, that. Right. I'm usually happier, though, if I'm talking to people yeah. than I am if I'm just sitting by myself. So if somebody's like, how are you? I'm like, in this moment, uh, not bad. Yeah, I want to be by myself. I want to be all by myself and not have anybody talk to me. But yes, I think everybody agrees that we have all done this to somebody. Even, even if it doesn't mean anything, I think, I think we just kind of lie. Oh yeah, most yeah. of my lies JP? are just lies. Yeah, are saying this pointless. exact. I was. He keeps on saying he has a huge penis. He doesn't have to lie to anybody. I'm not. I'll prove it. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, <laughs> that, look, there's some things you lie about, and there's some things you don't, and that's one of those. All that, right, you fine. Know. You know what? Let's pause the show. You guys go into that room right there. Mike, mm. take a picture of it. No, and we'll do oh, it. you. I got a picture of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please uh, from don't. From all angles. Please don't. I don't want it. I'm just. Totally. Ah, don't, I don't. Yeah, don't, I'm not going to look. I don't want to. JP, wanna, I, I mean, swear to God. If all you need is a picture evidence, I've got plenty of that. Believe I'll me. I'll put a newspaper up next to it, and th- that way you know it's me. Okay. Can you Fair. airdrop that to me? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I sure can. Oh, shit. All right. Next one comes in from Brandon Strong. He wants to know, never have I ever pulled a prank on someone who passed out early during a party. For sure I have. Everyone has. Duh. Mm-hmm. What's the yeah. worst one you pulled? Oh, our Mormon friend, his name was Dustin (laughs) and he was, uh, he Mm. had to, it was Saturday night and he was, you know, typical, like I got to go to church in the morning and we basically black faced his face with, uh, Sharpie. Oh no. And from, I don't know if this is true or not, or if somebody was just (laughs) lying, but he didn't like, he went all the way to church without looking in a mirror. Apparently. (laughs) Oh my God. No way, because... Yeah, I don't know if no it's way. true or what, but... Oh, yeah, we wow. definitely... He was... Uh, I've known, like, four Mormons in my mm-hmm. life, and all of them were, like, the drunkiest alcoholics. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's valid. That's like, valid. fighting against the system or whatever, you know? The hell I can't drink. I'm yeah. going to drink we- more than everybody. <laughs> I, I mean, like, we drew we, on people's faces and we shit. We taped yeah. my buddy to a wall once. <laughs> nice. <laughs> While he was passed out. So That's he was great. just like, oh, limp, like, fucked up, dude. Uh, <laughs> fucked up. I grew up in Rose Hill. There is nothing else to do. <laughs> but tape uh, people we, to walls. We, uh, we go out of our way use, for entertainment. Dude, we use like four or five rolls of fucking tape. Oh, my God. We, it took us almost two hours to My put dad would it. beat and, me with uh, a belt if I wasted <laughs> all of his duct tape. Oh, man. Taping my friend yeah. to the wall. It was. Uh, that's probably one of the worst ones. Yeah, was, really? He was not happy. Oh, I'm sure when he, he wasn't. Woke up and Could he get out? Move. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, yeah. We had you to be cut a him out with fucking oh, uh, sure. box cutter. Yeah, I think like the worst thing that we ever did was like take sh- black sharpie and like draw dicks on our per- like friend's yeah. face. I right, did, right. I words did that to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> did you trace it on? No. <laughs> <laughs> my dick would not fit on a face. <laughs> Mine would. <laughs> so would mine. Mine would oh, easily a, fit. I'm just saying. Oh, man. Uh, that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yeah. I still, I remember, uh, I don't even know why, but I, uh, on one of the real sexes on HBO way back in the day, I remember a dude, they were talking about like f- weird dick and ball things. And I remember they did the bat wing where they like <laughs> stretch. And then a, a dude did a thing called the wrist watch and he took his soft <laughs> dick and wrapped it around his wrist and so of course i tried and i was like mine won't go all the way around my wrist 
It's like a, mine's like the slap bracelet <laughs> dick, you know. It goes to like here, but it doesn't touch. <laughs> That's good. All right. Can you do the can you do the wristwatch? No. Oh. I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, it, I, I'm, I bet I could. Uh, I got little wrists. Okay, great. Oh, shit. Can you do that? Can you? Barely. Yeah. Oh, well. All the way around. I also, I can't, I, I can't cross my yeah. fingers without using my other hand. I don't know why. I have stumpy little fingers, I guess. Oh, no. I, can I, can do that. Ways. I got stumpy fingers, too, but that's, that's, I just, it's something. Yeah. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. I got big, I'm long weird. fingers. I'm weird, man. Great. <laughs> Spectacular, JP. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one, we're going to move on to Braxton Lint. He wants to know never have I ever reported someone to HR. Nope. I've never worked anywhere that had HR. <laughs> oh, really? I have, but I've never reported anybody. <laughs> I've been reported, <laughs> but say. I've never reported anyone. Yeah, what did you get reported for? <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's not the question. <laughs> uh, no, I have never reported anyone to HR. There have been many times I could have, yeah. but you would be a dick if you did. Just saying. Yeah. And uh, last. Right. La- nice yeah, no, question. Dude, I, did, I was hoping you'd pick this one. I almost sent you a message telling I, you to pick this next I one. I noticed because you liked it, and that's why yeah. I picked it oh, yeah. as a bonus one. Dude, I love it. It's Kay. one of my favorites. All right. This <laughs> comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know, never have I ever seen an animal with Down syndrome. I have. <laughs> what? A cat. A cat. Where? <laughs> my neighbor. <laughs> Really? They had a Down syndrome cat. They did. It did. Look, no. did it have? Dude, no. Dude, it, it was a Down syndrome cat, bro. <laughs> it looked like a Down syndrome cat. No. No. I'm going to do I some research you. here. Oh, my God, please. It, it, if it didn't have Down syndrome, I'd be shocked <laughs> because it looked like it had Down syndrome. It had that whole. <laughs> they did that tongue thing all the time like that. Dude. Did it meow like. No. <laughs> it said weom. <laughs> oh my god. Weom. 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 Oh shit. No, I've never seen a Down syndrome Dude, animal. Dude, I promise you it had Down syndrome. There is a condition in cats known as feline trisomy where they might have an extra chromosome, but it's not <laughs> the same as human Down syndrome. Well, it's cats not that far off. Cats with this off. condition often have physical abnormalities but typically don't survive long after, after birth. It walked really funny. Dogs oh. can have something similar also that mimic the symptoms of Down syndrome. Other animals uh, can have chromosomes Zomal abnormalities as oh. well. Well, I'll be darn. Interesting. I mean, oh Jesus! I'm Christ. pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure I had Down syndrome, bro. It's okay. not technically that, but but close enough that you'd be like, dude, look at that fucking cat, <laughs> dude, right? <laughs> Why does that cat look like that? Okay. I don't want to say what I think that cat looks <laughs> like. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much, Reese. <laughs> I appreciate the question and the uh. conversation. But that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is that. Where I Draw the Line. Okay. Okay. We had quite a few of these. Sam Van Sumpel. Sam Van Sumpel. We're going to kick it off. That is a name right there. It is. It is. Sam Van Sumpel. Yeah. What do you Hey, doing? how you doing? Sam. Sam Van Sumpel. <laughs> Van Sumpel sells. <laughs> uh, what do you sell, Sam? <laughs> I don't know. What, what he, I don't know what he sells, but he seems like he would sell. Can something. I get some samples, Van Sumple? Yeah, sure can. absolutely. I want some samples from Sam Van Sumple. For that's sure. a, that's a little tongue twister there. <laughs> yeah, man. it is. Uh, but anyway, Sam. Sam wants to know uh, how close to the expiration date to food will you let it get? It or would, hold on. Would we you, not, we understand. Hold on, but I gotta say it so I can clip it. Uh, are you, how cl- are you drunk? I might be at this point. <laughs> What's in that Gatorade? Nothing. Buddy? It's Gatorade. It's straight mm. Gatorade. And mine's not doing the same. <laughs> I should have got the zero. I want more of your Gatorade. Uh, but no. Uh, how close to the expiration date to food will you let it get to and still eat it? Depends. Depends on what it is. Milk. I the smell test, dude. Yeah. Okay. Smell test is Two what we're going for. Two or three days for? after. All right. What if it doesn't have an expiration date? What if it's smell pizza? test? What's pizza? Oh, the next day. Otherwise, I get rid of it. I'm the same way. Yeah. Uh, if I don't eat it the next, next day, day, it's gone. Chinese food. Uh, not even. The, I don't even save Chinese. You food. just throw it away. Mm-hmm. Oh God. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even okay. save that. 
cheese. If as when, long as it's not moldy. Right. Okay. You're pretty good. Or have that weird rotten smell. Yeah. I know what rotten shit smells like. Okay. I don't really keep a lot of cheese on hand. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, you don't? I don't. I eat out. I don't really cook much. Wonder I'm single. Why I mean. your fucking financial situation? Is, eat at home, dude. Yeah, eat some cheese. <clears throat> what would the you, fuck? Go I to, do. Hey, I go get it, and then I bring it home, oh, and then I eat at home. No, would you want to come over and like actually like a night where we have dinner with friends? I mean. Yeah, would, you offer as long free as you, food as long as you don't think we're friends. Thanks. <laughs> All right, I fine. mean, but then yeah, never I'll, mind. I'll no. come over as of an course, employee. I would always yeah. love to come over no. and hang out with you, man. No, you I never I, offer. I, I never. I thought just figured you, you didn't like me. Of course, I fucking love you. Shut hmm. up. Uh, any other items you're thinking about? I like meat. Like meat is one of those. Yeah, you know, because you go to the you go to the store, you buy meat. But if you're buying that much meat, where it's going to go bad, you usually freeze, freeze it, it anyway, and then you're good. Yeah, yeah. But they always discount the meat to where it's sell by this point yeah. because they know you're going to go home and freeze right. it, right? Right. And uh, that's the meat I target because I think that's actually better. But yeah. that's beside the point. Okay. You think it's better? Yeah. It started out really good. That's why nobody bought it. It's mm. too expensive. Right. And Most of the time. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And I'm like, 12 bucks for a steak? <clears throat> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I'll grill hopefully, it up right now. Hopefully nobody will buy it. They'll start molding on the inside, and I'll come and buy it for a discount. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it even cheaper. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I don't. I if it smells fine, I'll fucking eat it, and I'll yeah. eat pizza that's been in the fridge for several days. I I'll, mean, I have, and I would. I just I'll don't not want to. I'll freeze yeah. leftover pizza oh, sometimes. No. I've, I've done I've that never before. Done, wow, a no. lot of frozen pizzas are like half cooked already. But anyway, that's pretty impressive. I have never heard of that. Warm it up in the oven, dude. Taste. I have it. never heard of anybody freezing their pizza. I've done that. I've one frozen time. all sorts of weird shit. <laughs> I froze spaghetti noodles once. Okay, that was weird. Yeah. I froze your mom the other day. I told I told the story on on the show before, but remember when I said I went to Picasso's and their pizzas are like fucking yeah, like enormous, like yeah. they don't fit through a car door. Okay, <clears throat> I did freeze those because I was just like that was a sixty five dollar pi- like pizza. Interesting, man. yeah. I have never even thought about it. <clears throat> you but, can freeze mm. pretty much anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can. It's except, all it's all about how you thought back out. Except like mercury. I don't know if that. Nah, can, I don't know. Can I you freeze know. mercury? Alcohol won't. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Roger Colton. He wants to know, what would you spend on a first date? As little as fucking possible. Yeah. My ideal first date would be uh, come over. <laughs> well, that's that. That's Netflix yeah, and chill, dog. That's not that's a date. Not a date. You, that, a date, you go places. Mm, yeah, nah. Like you don't ever take, you don't ever, you've never met a girl and be like, you know what? I want to. I just want to take her out. Yeah. yeah, but I've never, I don't want to give, if I take her to a, a $200 dinner no, of place. Of course you're not going to do that. It's a first date. But even, uh, I don't like to set false hope oh, up for this girl of like, she's going like, to take look, me to the nicest places. So, I want her to be like, yeah, our first date was on his fucking couch. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I don't have a problem rinsing off this paper plate and letting <laughs> oh, God it dry. Damn it. I know I, what kind of piece of shit this guy is. Okay, I'm, I'm like, it's still good. I'm, I'm still a good plate. I really mm. do agree with it. You don't want to. You want to spend the least amount of money on your first date. You really do. And I'm not saying be that's like, this. This exactly what <clears throat> here's what we've talked about this whole episode what? is exactly why I can't be a road comic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this, yeah. is, this whole episode. Why everything you said is exactly why I cannot be a road comic. Why. Because I could never rinse off a p- fucking paper plate. I could never. <laughs> I don't do it often, pizza. but I have done but, it right, before. But you've had, you've got Absolutely. there. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. If I ever got there, I would just walk into traffic and be like, "Fuck it, <laughs> dude." I, I was in a. This wasn't a money thing, but I was in a comedy condo once, which is like an apartment that yeah. the comedy club owns, and they had one coffee filter left and me and another comic made it through that whole week <laughs> oh my making God. coffee letting it dry dumping it in the trash and then rinsing it off and then putting it back in the filter we reuse they not the have same, a paper towel we reuse that no that won't work it'll it works it'll crumble it'll eventually crumble. it'll well, crumble. you change it every time <laughs> you didn't have a roll of paper towels uh, we made it work that's my point <laughs> okay and yeah, and I've been in the same spot with paper plates where I've got like three left, and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna, f- I'm not running out of fucking paper <laughs> plates, dude. Wow, yeah, 
Uh, what, was, what was the question again? So anyways, <laughs> we're going to make a GoFundMe for Mike Baldwin. Yeah, let's throw Jesus that up on the Christ. screen. I'm, I do want to do a GoFundMe that, you know, it has the different tiers. Of, uh-huh. So at $2,000, that will fund my bankruptcy. Or if it gets to 50000 then I'll just <laughs> pay off my debt and not have there to do the go. bankruptcy there you, go. there you go. But I'm literally at the point now where I want to declare bankruptcy <laughs> and can't afford it. Oh, Jesus. Is, so, yeah, things are going good. Things are well. So, anyways, definitely spend the least amount of money on your first date. The I mean, first date, like, it needs to be a... Take fucking movie. A coffee. Or, Something like, like that. Proof, go, to, go to have coffee. Proof that they're a real person. Yeah, right. And not just some fake bot on... On Twitter or Instagram. Well, yeah, and the best you know? place to tell that, my couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah correct. <laughs> Hit me up, ladies. Correct. Fair enough. Hit me up, hot Instagram girl second, whose name I forgot. Second and third dates are going to be I don't like this next out. question. Oh, I, you I, don't? Uh, anniversary, I'll take you to a nice restaurant. I don't like it. I say we scrap it. I don't think so. I think we're going to go ahead. Dude, we talk about it every show. I know, but it's a reminder that we yeah. need to ask. But no, man. Especially with him. I wish you guys would quit. Yeah. Like, just make it I think it's it played itself out. I but think it's, okay. That's well, here's, think. here's the only reason why I picked it. And, and, and go I with me on this. Yeah, I'm not. Brand, I, I Brand, don't go with you. Just so we're all clear <laughs> in the room, I don't go with you. But I like go this ahead. question. Brandon, Let's have it. Brandon Strong asked a question that we have basically talked about at nauseum whenever Mike is on it's, this show. It's over with. However, it's very specific. It's done. It's very specific. It's, it's done. A, how often should a man right. groom himself? And then he includes his hair, his toenails, and his fingernails. So, okay, so, so where are you going to go with so it? So this is it. <laughs> this is it. Now no, we're not even going to we, go that direction. We we have made fun of Mike for so long because we have an arbitrary number of his toenails. He's not cl- clipping them for ninety days. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> Once maybe. All right, but but what what Brandon has done so thirty shrewdly, plus on the regular. Yeah, but what Brandon has done so shrewdly is actually make us try to identify when is it too long. For any of these particular two items. weeks for a man two, two weeks. weeks. Hold on, let me ask a question. Okay, when, when you trim your your toenails, yes. are there dozens of tiny shards of toenail? Or when I trim my toenails, <laughs> I have t- I have ten <laughs> ten pieces of toenail in total when I'm done. Hey. About that long. I'm just saying, and like, about that when, wide. When you say trim <laughs> your toenails. I, are you like <laughs> clip, 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 clip? I do like a solid line across <laughs> my toenail, and then I'm done for a month. At least. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Look at my fingernails. Are they bad? No, they, no, like, they look great. No. This is... This is I, I, yeah, because you clipped them last week. We already know. Yeah, we know. But you even before us. that, nobody... If you thought my f- nails were gross, you'd be like, fucking trim your nails, All right, dude. man. So the reason also why I included this question is because wow. I want to understand the people who have long fingernails. Yeah. Like, there's always the guy that has the long pinky nail. Oh, because he's doing cocaine. 100%. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. And then... But use a key like a normal fucking person. <laughs> <laughs> you moron. Just drink the bag. That's yeah, I mean, just <laughs> fucking stick the bag up to you. Know, do whatever you got to do. But the, yeah, the long pinky nail I never got. I thought that was dumb. Okay, so this is how we can tell if we have good genes or not. Like, how often do you cut your hair? Once a month? I should cut it like every three weeks, but okay. I usually only do it like once a month or sure. month and a week. Or Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. dude. But I should probably do it every three weeks. Hey, Mike, That's how, how, I o- feel. how often do you cut your hair, Mike? <laughs> I shave my head anywhere between every six days and every three weeks. Just what what happens on, if you don't? Uh, it just grows out Bozo the Clown style. <laughs> the Dude, I think you should I rock that. You should rock it. I've tried it before. It's yeah. that's how it is in my comedy special. It it's is. A, it's a two or three months. It is. Uncut you should there. dye it red though. I agree. Like Bozo the Clown yeah. color. 100%. We, yeah. And we can play the grand, grand prize, prize game. game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that actually yeah. sounds yeah, like That fun. does sound like That fun. sounds great. I always I'll felt, be Cookie. I always felt bad for Cookie because yeah, he, he wanted to lead the, the grand march yeah. or whatever at the you end. Never let him. And Bozo Poor would cookie. always have some bullshit thing. <laughs> I need and you the, to go back and shine my shoes, The bitch. one that <laughs> sticks out of my head is, uh, is uh, Bozo goes, okay, Cookie, if you can button up your shirt in less than 30 
30 seconds, you can lead the march or whatever. And so Cookie's like, and does it real quick. And then Bozo goes, you buttoned down your shirt. And I just remember as a five-year-old being like, that's fucking bullshit, man. He fuck you, Bozo. Anyways. Anyways. No, but okay. So we got, we got hair out of the way. Yeah. Do you want to know, dude, why are we doing this still? I I think we've got a good. Okay. I think it was I, good. I, like how often do you clip your toenails? I said once every uh, once every two weeks Me or too. less. Okay. And Mike is fucking crazy. Yeah, ninety days. And fingernails. My average two hair weeks. two weeks for those two. Yeah. I'm like every week. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I cut my to- on my fingernails every yeah. week. That's why they're. Yeah right. No, I'm the same with my fingernails, dude. Ten things go into the ashtray when I trim my fingernails. <laughs> and toenails. Yes. That's fucking weird. One per nail. There's no fucking <sighs> re Dude, I feel like if he took one of his toenail clippings and threw it out onto the street, <laughs> somebody would walk by and go, what? What? What is it this? It puncture a tire. Weird. It Not, would puncture his tire. I could hurt you with it, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. but I don't think it would sure. puncture a tire. Uh, you never know. Anyways, okay. ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where we draw the line. No more toenails and shit. All right. Please. Mike. No more. Ever. Love no more. God. Unless a, a low-hanging fruit joke for a callback comes later. Whatever. But anyways, now let's move on to questions and preguntas, and uh, these are all good. In fact, the two first ones come in from a troll, and his name <laughs> is Keith Litsky. His name is Keith Litsky, <laughs> and he wants to know, first uh, one, uh, what would be a female equivalent of a glory hole be called? The snatch shutters. Oh, that's good. What would it be called? Yeah, what would it be called? Oh, I I didn't think of that. I just imagined uh, when you're doing science or whatever, or when you're sandblasting, how they have like the big, uh, like aquarium thing, and then they have the gloves that you put your hands into. That's how it would be. That's what a female on her side of a glory hole it would just be. My hands and they're doing science. Yeah, but do you know what it would be called? Uh, The the finger blasters. Yep. <laughs> no, I just I just thought of lip service. Yeah, lip service because it's good. both. It works both ways. A suction cup. Yeah, but I feel like it would have it would have to be more of like a table that she sits on as opposed to a wall that she puts something up against. Because I need to like get up in there, you know. <laughs> with a dude, you can just put your junk directly straight ahead, but. With a girl, she would have yeah, to. She could it, bend over and back it up into it. She sure she could. could. Be just she fine. could do that. She, yeah, she sure could. But I want to look in her eyes while I. <laughs> well, that's not how a glory hole works. <laughs> no, it would have like uh, what my grandpa did with the dogs. He would drill one <laughs> hole for the dog's nose. Here we and go then, with that again. And then two other holes my God. for the eyes, so they could see through the fence and and talk to the dogs on the other side. Okay. All right. That's well, how uh, my female glory thanks, hole. Thanks, Keith. Would be. <laughs> thanks a lot. We have derailed. Keith. Okay, and the and next... You know what? If that one wasn't bad enough, <laughs> let's have another one from Keith. <laughs> All right. Next one from Keith comes in, and he wants to know... What would be the name of your wrestling faction for the bo- or for all three of us? I don't know. I couldn't name one wrestling faction that exists anywhere, two, so... Two men and a lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. He'd, he'd be the manager. You'd be the lady. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we got done with you. Oh, that's me. You guys remember that show, Two Guys, a Girl, and a Pizza Place? Yeah. <laughs> Was Ryan Reynolds in that? Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. How about you? I, I Actually, mine was the two men and a lady. What do you got? Oh, I can't think of shit. I wouldn't wrestle with you guys. Yeah. Wrestling. I don't, I don't think wrestle. we would wrestle together. Fuck but if off. we did. I don't Quit asking weird questions. I know. Like a three person. Like a fa- I, yeah, I don't want to like be three, in a faction like, with you at all. The NWO. No faction. The NWO, yeah. right? We'd be the fucking SJ fucking <laughs> M. The right. SJM. SJM. That's, okay. <laughs> that, it, that's like when you tie people Thank up God we stuff, put right? that question on there. What the fuck is wrong with you in these questions? <laughs> hey, you know what? So one of these days, man, we just need to fucking come together as a society <laughs> and figure out what the fuck we're doing with these questions. <laughs> okay. Hey, it, it, All you, right. you have the power to do that. I'm trying. All right. Uh, next one comes in from <laughs> Devin Halliday. He wants to know nicknames for anxiety medication. Mm, I call mine marijuana. <laughs> That's not a nickname. I, no. <laughs> that is a name. I, I was on a bunch of anxiety meds until I started smoking again. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mine I, is uh, Simadana. Same. I mean, Simadana. if I stop, if I had to stop smoking weed, I would definitely be taking a lot of meds. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, When's so. the last time that you've just done been 100% clear-headed for a month or more? Never. Oh, God. I, he hasn't. Like the age of 12 or something? Yeah, it's probably. been a minute. All right. <laughs> just wondering. They're trying. They're trying to get me to try uh, Xanax. Oh, dude, Xanax is awesome. Wait until you start remembering. <laughs> <laughs> then not so much. Well, the main reason why is because we're going to Florida for our ten year anniversary, and I hate flying. I absolutely hate flying. Oh, I'm not kidding. I whenever dude, I'm talking about it on the show, take a fucking Xanax. That's great. They'll kick you off the flight. <laughs> okay. You'll be fucking Ryan, dude. I know. Don't do that. You okay. could. Thank uh, you, you. That's you, what I said. If you're gonna take anything for the flight, take a roofie. Just fucking knock yourself out. <laughs> oh, yeah? For real. Or you can try... Uh, how long does it last? Not being a pussy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> real? Way to try and set me up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for that. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. <laughs> I'm not. Me. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, so you like, piece if you, of shit. If I put it in your drink, how long are you yeah, going to Yeah, right. Up? Fuck you, man. Oh, about four and a half hours. Yeah. Four fifteen if it's a high metabolism. <laughs> oh. Damn it! I was trying to catch him and he caught on. <laughs> oh fuck! All right. Okay. Next one comes in from Tyler H. Co. He wants to know <laughs> rejected gay dating apps. <laughs> All of them. All of them they already have should be rejected. Just They're every- horrible. It's a horrible idea <laughs> to get us all together. And every yeah. body part nickname you can think of is the name of a gay bar or a gay app. nipples. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you what? You don't use nipples, cocks, uh, fucking yeah. balls, yeah. fucking buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, what are you doing tonight? I'm going on a date with a guy from butthole. <laughs> yeah, sphincters, right. Sphincter. <laughs> sphincters. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, dickfinder.com. I think that's good. Just that's a good one. Dick Finder's good. I yeah. think that's fine. Oh, yeah. The, Mike, the, Mike, the, yeah. the catcher's mitt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's fucking good. I'm sorry. Push the button. That's fucking great. Mm. Oh, all right. The catcher's mitt is what we're going to end up with. And the last one comes in from Dan Jones. By the way, Dan, happy birthday. Uh, I guess it's his birthday uh, this weekend. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy Leo. birthday, buddy. Uh, Hello, Leo. That's right. He wants to know, what are the worst alternatives for toilet paper? Your hand. And it's not even close. No. No, it's fucking your hand, man. Yeah. Mm, your chair. Leaves aren't great. Yeah, chair. <laughs> Would bed be sheets. Yeah, towel. What? I'm just yeah. saying, like, if you just don't wipe at all and just get That's up and worse. go, oh, go yeah. sit on your mom's recliner, I was like, like the, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like the nightmare stories of, like, poison ivy where some yeah, dude actually wipes his ass with poison mm. ivy or poison oak. And I'm like, ah, yeah, that'd be bad. That'd be really bad. But, like, <laughs> just rubbing yourself up against a chair that's how about cloth? A, how about a snake? Yo! Uh, Whoa! This would be like... I wonder... <laughs> Floss, it'd be like flossing, kind of. <laughs> I wonder uh, if anybody's ever... Uh, snake flossed? Yeah, I, I wonder that, too. I was like a, a wilderness guy that has, like, his dog <laughs> with him. <laughs> like, every time he <laughs> shits, he's just like, come here, boy. Uh, uh, clean just, that up All you got to do is bring some peanut butter, too. Oh, God. Mix it. That's okay. enough. That's but enough. That. No, the answer to that is the same as as my answer from earlier. Red hot poker. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good <laughs> That's deal. the it worst. Come full circle. Toilet paper wow. alternative. That's great. Well, guys, thank you very much for participating in Monday Fun Day. Keep your eyes peeled for every Friday. And uh, oh my god! What? I just read the fucking <laughs> shitty situation. Oh well, guess what? Now we get to move on to not that. We get to move on to one of the most popular parts of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. If you watch YouTube, you get it and you laughed. If not, you don't get it. <laughs> yeah, if not, they're like, what the fuck's going on right now? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but anyways, of course, as always, I got dead last last week. Nice. Oh, no, sorry, wrong button. There we go. Nah, both of those, I think. Yeah, yeah they both probably. Work. I just need to push both at the same time. Uh, so I got dead last. Uh, Mike Baldwin, on the other hand. 
Got second. Yeah. So he's going to get the Eiffel Tower picks this week. And, of course, JP won. I just got to try to do JP. Anyway. <clears throat> I so like JP that won. song. I me really do. Too. It's catchy. It's <laughs> like it's a meme or, or <laughs> something really that do. went viral really or love something. It. Um, but anyways, yes, uh, JP won last week, as he normally does. Uh, so that means he's going to get the championship picks, and I get the first overall pick. Uh, and this week's draft is going to be our favorite candy. Okay. Candy. It's a candy draft. Got okay. it. Um, by meaning sugar. Yeah. yeah. Not drugs. So flavored lube doesn't count? Because <laughs> <laughs> mine were all going to be flavors of lube. Edible underwear <laughs> is kind of still in the game. No. I, okay. I, I feel like we can keep the definition broad. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like we should. Yeah. This all is right. the way we always do it. Okay. All right. All right. I'll play okay. this game. Favorite candy. Something tells me. I'm going to lose anyway. We already know it. <laughs> yeah, we do. I mean, we already fucking know, but we, that's okay. We don't know for okay. sure. <laughs> What's your first pick, my, my first, My first overall pick is more of like an ingredient to stuff mm. because you can't have... <laughs> Sugar? <clears throat> no, you can't have it without certain things. So in order to have a s'more... You have to have a Hershey's chocolate bar. So you're going Hershey's chocolate I'm her- bar. I'm going Hershey's okay. chocolate bar. That's and that's, that's my- probably why you're going to lose. Probably. But that's fine. We don't care. Yep. Mike, what do you got? Cocaine. No. Cocaine. That's, Cocaine is not candy. That is not candy. That counts. No. no. Why? No way. It's not booger it's not sugar. Candy. That's not candy. We're talking it's a, about candy. An actual man. candy. All right, then Butterfinger. Okay. okay. <laughs> Same thing, really. <laughs> <laughs> Things that will definitely give you diabetes. Well, what, if, what I, Derek if I has. don't get to say cocaine, then I have a feeling I'm going to contest. You won't at contest least. anything I say. Okay, go ahead. Because mine are all candy. All okay. Right. All right. And JP, you get two in a row. Uh, Reese's peanut butter eggs. The, the ones eggs? that come out, yeah, the eggs that come out at Easter. Yeah, oh. the, the ratio to peanut butter and chocolate on those things is fucking perfect. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. they're way better than the regular cups. Okay, I yeah. like a refrigerated oh, peanut butter cup. Okay. I agree. And uh, the ridges are kind of crunchy. Then. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. And I'll stay on theme and go with the Cadbury cream egg. Oh my! You just also going all eggs. delicious. This dude fucking loves Easter. Apparently, he's not even Christian. Right? Isn't that, a, isn't that an Easter thing? Um, Easter is a Christian thing. Well, the yes. cat, no, the Cadbury eggs. Aren't they in Easter? Easter, yeah. Oh, okay, that's all right. Well, then, come on. I, I don't think they're a religious sect or I anything. I think the, I'm just glad. I don't, I'm not like, I'm Catholic, so I believe in Easter, I guess. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Cool. I mean, <laughs> Easter. <laughs> they don't believe in you. <laughs> no, they Easter don't. clearly <laughs> And you know what, man? Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, <laughs> Mid draft like that, way hey. to shoot me in the fucking toe. Just throwing it out. There. I try to not say they. Yeah, in that's any true. generalized like way. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. Touche, touche. All right, all right. Mike, you're in the middle. What do you got? You got one. Um, <laughs> I just want to say drug. Yeah, <laughs> you right. can't. Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I mean, I. Uh, yeah i'm yeah. torn between like being wacky and being like dude clearly snickers <laughs> well uh, i'll just go it satisfies for now yeah oh, it, it is satisfying it does satisfy it is me so you don't have to worry about it. i i get i get a two in a row but i don't think you're gonna, oh, i'm not gonna pick anything that you picked yeah. i'm sure <laughs> you're we're neither one of us are on that page. You're out. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Everybody, I'm weird, and I get it. I'm starting to pick up on it. So <laughs> it's fine. Finally. It's fine. I get it's it. It's taking a while. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Crazy nut job. All right. Um, <laughs> my favorite, and it will always be this. I am going to go with Smarties. Okay. Smarties have been my favorite candy mm-hmm. since I was a little kid. Okay. And and uh, anytime I go to like a candy shop, I buy a fucking bag, trash bag of that shit. Great. So I'm going to go with that. I like a Smarty. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Smarty's the best. And I would have never picked shit. it, so I'm glad I, he did. I know. I know. But I'm also thinking like my favorite. That's good. Yeah, you my should. Favorite, That's what I'm doing right? too. And if I'm also going to be honest and go yeah. with my favorite, you can't leave out Skittles. Okay. Dog. You yeah, can't Skittles leave great, out man. Skittles. I used to love Skittles. I'm yeah. not a big fan. Dude, purple Skittles the are wild the berry fucking ones are awesome. best. Yeah. And the red ones are great too, but the purple ones are fucking bomb. 
I think they're all the exact same flavor. They're definitely no. Not. They're different. No, they're not. No, they're definitely. They're different. definitely different. All right. Now, bag to bag, they're different. I, but I don't know about the colors individually. <laughs> all right, Mike, you're in the middle. What do you got? Um, what's a candy that I like? <laughs> Chocolate covered. Can I just say nuts? Sure. sure. Chocolate covered nuts. JP likes those too. That's not to me. <laughs> this is Saturday night. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> what was his name? Oh, yeah, God, Jerome. <laughs> what? No. Oh, <laughs> chocolate nuts. Okay. Okay. JP, <laughs> go ahead. I get how many? Just one. Uh, you get two. Uh, lifesavers. The uh, suckers, mm. the suckers. Oh, they're very hard to find anymore, but they're fucking so good. Oh shit! We also did have like an add-on to this thing. It can also be discontinued candy as well. Sorry, forgot. I think you can still get these somewhere. You can? Oh, I don't know. Surely you can. I mean, they're so good. They're like cream and I, like the I, flavor I, of whatever the sucker. You keep on saying oh, God, cream. I don't yeah. like. I love cream. I know you do. Uh, in do the pie formation, that. but yeah. but still, I I'm like not it a, mostly out of my chocolate bulk covered <laughs> nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, dear God! But he took that. So yeah, he did. All right, uh, lifesaver suckers. Uh huh. And then uh, we'll go with the Nestle Wonder Bowl. The Wonder Balls. Yeah, those things were awesome. They right. fucking those are discontinued. <laughs> they they'd kill they were you awesome. probably. Yeah, kids were choking on the prizes. And oh, shit. Yeah, fuck. damn it! They didn't I, take enough of them out. I guess. I guess. <laughs> shit. I'd say put more on the shelves. Yeah, but. exactly. Keep All right. coming. So there's my next two. All right, Mike. What do you got? Uh -oh. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, Wait, I don't know 100 percent how to say it. Fiero Rochers. Oh, those aren't good. Those are really good. I don't even know what they're Ferrero, are. Fer they're shaped, Ferraro Rocher or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They're sort of shaped like golf balls, and they're hollow chocolate they're gold wrapper. They've got a nut oh. or two in the middle. There's oh. nuts in there. Hazelnuts. It's like hazelnuts and chocolate. They're then, pretty uh, fucking good. Yeah. Fucking they're loves like chocolate nuts. They're like gourmet. It's more chocolate nuts. He more chocolate really nuts. Yeah, chocolate I guess nuts. So. I like nuts. What can I say? <laughs> Low carb, high fiber. <laughs> Very good. I had protein. Uh, okay. All right. If I'm if I'm not going to try to win any popularity contests here. I'm not. <laughs> Thank God, cuz yeah. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. I wouldn't anyway. Yeah. But there is one thing I remember doing whenever I was a kid. I drove back and forth from Garden City, Kansas to Wichita every other weekend, and I had to have Fun Dip every Fun single a, time. That's a good pick, Thank actually. You. Thank you. I like that pick. Thank you. I'll take Fun Dip. And then my last overall pick is going to be in my dad's honor. I'm not a big chocolate fan. He is. But I am going to go with um, the Peanut M&M's. Ah. That was legit. I like peanut M&M's. Going to be my answer. My dad's favorite. I, it, that is my dad's Mine favorite. I, I just, I, I'm not a big fan. I'll eat them. Dude, my dad collected M&M memorabilia. Are you fucked? Dude, nice. Are you I'm serious? Not, not a little bit. Rooms full. Not a little oh, bit. Dude, wow. when, when he passed away, we had to try and sell that shit. It was unreal. Wow. It was crazy. Jesus, that's People called him M&M Randy. He had, oh, really? he had shirts, jackets, fucking, oh, dude. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Hey, well, once, I'm, once I'm glad. You find I'm, a I'm thing. happy, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with those two it. picks, yeah. I guess. All right. Uh, Mike, your last pick, what do you got? Uh, well, first, I will say of all the candies that you could toss in the air and catch in your mouth, peanut M&M, the worst one. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. You will you fucking a chip tooth. a tooth, dude. You will break a fucking tooth. Uh, I'll just stay simple, I guess, towards the end. I'm going to say Almond Joy. Okay, that's fine. They got nuts. They do. Mounds don't. Mounds do not, no. <laughs> but I'll the, st I'll, a mound is still good. I'll take a mound. That's gross. What? Yeah, Almond? I'm not a coconut guy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank yeah. you. Somebody else. I just don't like the texture. The flavor's fine. <laughs> no, I, I hate like the, the texture. I, the only time that I like that. I don't know if I still have this video, but the, hold on. Don't don't ruin it yet. I got it. Okay. I was just going to say the flavor of coconut sucks. Uh, Can I continue with that? No, not yet. Okay. It's got to be right here somewhere. It's always fun when you look up videos that people can't see. I hate coconut, not the taste, the consistency. 
That's all. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my thank God. God. That's, we waited for that. Thank That's God what I we said stopped. to somebody well, whenever we get into the onion. It was, it was really nice having Mike on the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't, I like the flavor it's of probably onion. Good. I just don't like the crust. Everything comes to I've an got, end. I've got to be in this weird mood. Like I have to be on like a tropical vacation for me to even allow a little bit of coconut mixed in my drinks. Other than that, I'm out. So not a rum guy? I like rum, but not coconut rum. Okay. I yeah. thought that was all rum. No. I, no. It definitely not. That's all the rum I've no. had. <laughs> Spiced rum, man. Come on. All right. JP, last pick, dude. Um, then we can do some honorable mentions. Starburst. Ah, Fucking love them. That's a good one. That's a good one. Love that's Starburst. a good one to end on. Just any of like the taffy. I was going to say Laffy Taffy Laffy was another Taffy one. was the one I, I was going used with. used to buy that shit at the lunch Fuck. counter like oh. fucking crazy. Movie theaters. Yeah. Movie theaters would happen. Laffy Taffy. Um, yeah. and those the, Tootsie Pops, I always liked Tootsie those. Pops, yeah, yeah. Tootsie, okay. Tootsie Pops were okay. And some gas stations would honor the Twizzlers. The, if you the, found the, a star. The Indian and the Star. Uh -huh. yeah, oh, yeah. And other gas stations are like, that means nothing. That means absolute bullshit. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, I uh, there, there was a whole bunch of nostalgia. Like, I almost picked uh, Pixie Sticks. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, I, but we didn't ever. Twizzlers. I, I, yeah. love, oh, I love Twizzlers, no, Can't dude. do it. Can't I love Twizzlers. The red ones no. or the dude, black ones? They used to have Either. chocolate ones. Either. Mm. Oh, those were good. Fuck that. No. Chocolate I Twizzlers? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. They have strawberry ones, too. Oh, those yeah. are decent. Yeah. The, I don't like the black ones, though. I like the nibs, too. The cherry nibs. Oh, you guys are mm, disgusting. Are uh, but no, the I used to take, like, Sprite and the pixie sticks and just fucking load them there, up yeah. and shake them the fuck up oh god i was wired for days <laughs> after that uh any other honorable mentions you guys have uh reese's peanut butter cups reese's just, just pieces those regular ones just reese's regular. pieces are great yeah they're, they're great. good they're fucking excellent. et approved absolutely they are uh bonkers you probably don't know what those are but they're kind of like little no taffy things but I'm they close. were double flavored like, okay uh, they were fucking good. So I got, I believe I got three. I've got Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers. Oh, Which yeah. one? Uh, the Cherry Jolly Ranchers. The only reason why I didn't pick Sour Jolly Ranchers. Sour Apple, baby. Because of that. All day. Because of that. Sour Absolutely Apple all day. Absolutely fucking not. It's like runs all with day. bananas. Yeah. Runs Sour with bananas. Sour Apple, baby. Absolutely not. You sick fuck. That's why I didn't pick them. I always liked the peach ones. Yeah, the peach ones are good, too. I didn't even, I wasn't even around with the peach ones. Oh, yeah. Well, I yeah. had a peach one. Yeah. That's why they're discontinued. It killed people. <laughs> uh, but no, now I lost my fucking train of thought and it's probably fine and nobody yeah, really cares no, anyway you're right you are correct uh, about oh that. candy What's cigarettes the, oh yeah candy, oh, candy cigarettes. cigarettes that's okay. why jp still yeah. smokes to this day correct uh and i think there was probably one or two else in there but uh it's okay but anyways right. you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or x which is at lot sidelines and vote for the list that you think has the best list of your favorite candies and whoever wins next week well uh, again i think uh Give yourself a blowjob again? Yeah, I'll okay, do it again. Okay, why right. not? It was so much fun this week. I'll See, do it again. That's why. That's why I talked to Missy. It's like yeah. we need to get our only only fans. Yeah, you know? yeah, I know. We gotta get one. Yeah. I think it just me you know. blowing myself, we'd be fucking rich. I mean, at least mm. for a month. Like I said, hold my ankles and that, I can do it. I'm not doing it. But would your soul be rich? I no. don't I don't think it would. It's so my soul's so fucking gone now that I'm just like, you know what, man? At this I'm ready to be rich. You're just whore crux yeah, all over the place. Right, leaving right. Bits if Shane of your soul Gillis behind. If Shane Gillis has taught me anything, it's not that big of a deal. You're not necessarily doing any necessary sin, right? Yeah. You're just providing for your family yep. and yourself. Correct. And so if that's what you got to do to sacrifice it and dumb people so are going to pay it. you for it, you know? so be okay. it. Let God judge. Okay? I just want people to send me Fiero Rocher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about paying Fair. my bills or any of that stuff. Sure. Just mail me golf ball shaped You're going to get so many of them, you're probably going to have to freeze them. <laughs> yeah, probably. I will. They freeze. They, they freeze they fine. They do. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline Shitty Situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Yeah. Wait, what? You're it's brought to you by me? Yeah, you're sponsoring you're this sponsoring episode. sponsoring Okay. We're hey. going to need that sponsorship money real soon. That's I right. Uh, it's $117. <laughs> oh, no. That's all I have. Well, we'll take $115. Yeah. we will leave you a couple bucks oh, for a nice. McChicken or no something. Big deal. Mm. And also, he is the 2024 CSB Comedy Contest Showdown Champion. <laughs> 
Congrats, buddy. I got a new move. Oh, did you? Oh, good stuff. That's like awesome. That? Yeah, mm-hmm. I wonder what that is. It's not is. a new move. <laughs> it's new to the show. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Same old move, really. Uh, okay. All right. Double fisting. Uh, <laughs> you got to. Or jerking. One of the two. Either way. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. We actually took a shitty situation suggestion uh, from a listener this week. And if we have not already beaten the shit out of this joke... I don't. It's not a joke or it's, situation. It's a serious problem. Or it's not a problem. It is a problem. A problem. It's just a totally no. normal thing. Or whatever. It's not. We are going to beat it into the ground today. <laughs> okay. To the point to where we're going to beat it so deep into the ground that we're never going to bring it up again, unless somebody asks. But <laughs> we are going to put this to bed. This comes in from at totally radical venus flytrap which if you're gonna have a name on instagram that's the one that's the one you bet but he wants to know would or she or she i'm sorry i apologize he would like to know (laughs) would you rather never cut your toenails again or (laughs) never cut your fingernails again mike (laughs) mike so when when you say cut it, can I? Uh, You're letting them grow, dog. Can I file? No, no. You're letting them grow, dog. You just gotta go grow wild. That's. I it. mean, pr- I would probably go with my toes, just because less people would have to deal with it in my day to day life. Not eventually. If, if I had year long fingernails, I feel like that would negatively affect my life more than just having shoes on all the time. And no, but like, that's the thing. Eventually, they're gonna outgrow your shoes. No, yeah. they just you fold them under your foot when you put your sock on, oh, and then you just I, walk I on them, fold. and then it makes calluses under. Okay. All right. Well, you're never fingering a chick ever again if you do the fingernails. Well, you're, that too. You never do it, or a yeah, guy, and a guy you're for never that matter, right. picking your nose comfortably. Oh, you're not eating. wiping your ass. I'm going toenails, just yeah, for that reason because of to. all the things that I I use my hands for. But I can't imagine at some point they're going to get so long you can't even walk. Well, so it's like, this is uh, a fucking no win situation right here. Is I, what they call these? Yeah, these are total. I mean, this is this a, is a definite. This shitty is a definite situation. shitty situation. Because here, here's all I'm saying. I'm thinking that maybe, like, you know how, like, um, my 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 mom, not my my real mom, but my mom, Mama Lori. She she has really long fingernails. Uh, she has the okay. fake ones. I'm thinking, could I ever grow them to be that long? Yeah, they will. Ever, right. I don't know if in the like rest of my life would they ever get to that. And at that point, am I just like yeah. transitioning? I mean, I mean, let's hope not for all those. You know, I mean, oh god, I mean, hey, they had you make me vote against that. Hey, they had bearded ladies at the Olympics. Come on, man. man. Okay, but all I'm saying is, but here's the problem with the feet thing that I really, I'm actually thinking about is if they get to a point where they're so long, you're not fucking walking. Right, that's what I was thinking. But I also think this. When, like, dogs and cats and stuff like that, like feral dogs and cats, yeah. loose, when they run on concrete, it kind of files their nails down. That's how they fucking... So I'll just run on concrete a bunch. And, but that, uh, I, that counts maybe as I'll break them. You Maybe I'll break them. It didn't say I could... It said I couldn't cut them you said could cut, or file or like them with a file. With well, file. then I'm It didn't say a, anything about kicking a wall. Then I'm doing my fingernails, and I'm going to have a, a piece of sandpaper next he's, to... He's going to walk on I'm just going to sit there and scratch that all day long. Okay. And yeah. Like, I ne- I I'm, still go, I'm going never toenails, man, the, still. The practical thing is, is toes. Is toes. For the sure. practical thing is to- Mike, on the other hand, definitely not, because he goes 90 days between that Well, shit. that's why I do that, because I lost this Would You Rather <laughs> yeah. because, years ago. Years ago. Because, because he walks on a through his kitchen, and you can hear him going, click, 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 Hit me up. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so Fuck, very much. Fuck, I didn't much. think we were going to make it. I, we did. But we did. Thank we, God. We sure did. Thank you guys so very much for doing what you do. We, we sincerely do appreciate it. Do us a favor. If you have already or if you have not already done it please pause this episode leave a like leave a comment a question for any of these guys. I know with today we have JP and Mike. Next week we may have JP, Jeremy, 
somebody else, Derek. No, Derek's going to move to Canada. Uh, but anybody else. <laughs> we can video conference them in. <laughs> we can video conference them in. Yeah, for sure. But uh, please do leave us leave us a comment. And uh, again, a question that you would like to ask these guys personally. We would love to answer it for you. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do. Thank you for being awesome, awesome fans. Uh, we really do mean that. Uh, but as we always like to say, oh, uh, thank you, Mike Baldwin. You're, you're welcome. And JP. Anyways, uh, yes, thank you guys very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. As, as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope you only adopt pets with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, oh. tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Nothing says Easter like Cadbury. Until next time, keep, keep laughing, laughing, assholes. Asshole. We'll see you later. Take care.